Hello there. We will solve the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. We will also determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation and also the sum and product of the roots of the quadratic equation. The quadratic formula is given by x is equal to negative b, positive negative square root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2a. There is a proof for this formula in my latest video. You can check it out. This quadratic formula is one way of solving the quadratic equations. In fact, there are other methods used in solving such as extracting square root, factoring, and completing the square. But there are quadratic equations that are difficult to solve using these three methods only that I've mentioned. Only the quadratic formula can solve easily most of the quadratic equations. Let's have example one. Solve 3x squared positive 11x positive 6 is equal to 0 by using the quadratic formula. Determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation and find the sum and product of the roots. Let's begin with using the quadratic formula. From the equation, a is equal to 3, b is equal to 11, and c is equal to 6. We will substitute these numbers to the letters in the formula. So now we have x is equal to negative 11, positive negative square root of 11 squared, negative 4 times 3 times 6, divided by 2 times 3. We start simplifying inside the radical symbol. So we have 11 squared negative 4 times 3 times 6 is equal to 49. While the denominator is 2 times 3, that is 6. We now have x is equal to negative 11 positive negative square root of 49 divided by 6. We also find the square root of 49, that is 7. So we have x is equal to negative 11, positive negative 7, divided by 6. Since we have positive and negative 7, it means we have two quantities and we split this. We have x is equal to negative 11 plus 7 divided by 6. And this is equal to negative 2 thirds. And the other one, x is equal to negative 11, negative 7 divided by 6. And this is equal to negative 3. Now we have two roots. That is negative 2 thirds and uh, negative 3. These roots are real roots also rational roots and these two roots are unequal this is the description and the nature of the roots for this particular quadratic equation 3x squared positive 11x positive 6 is equal to 0 there is an advanced and easy way to describe the roots of the quadratic equation even if the roots are not yet solved we can identify the nature of the roots using the discriminant that is found inside the radical symbol of the quadratic formula, which is b squared negative 4ac. For this quadratic equation, 3x squared positive 11x positive 6 is equal to 0. The discriminant is b squared negative 4ac and that is equal to 49 as we have solved. 49 is a perfect square, and there is a square root of 49, that is 7. Thus, the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation is real, rational, and unequal. Now, let's go to the sum and the product of the roots. If we add the roots that we have solved, negative 2 thirds, plus negative 3 is equal to negative 11 thirds. This negative 11 thirds 
if we look at the quadratic equation above, this is negative b over a in symbols. We will be using these symbols to identify the sum of the quadratic equation. This is the shortest way to determine the sum of the roots, even if we have not yet solved the roots. Another, we can also find the product of the roots, just multiply negative 2 thirds and negative 3. That is equal to positive 2. We can also see in the equation that this 2 can be 6 divided by 3. From the equation, we, we see that uh, 6 divided by 3 is C over A in symbols. So C over A is the fastest way, is the formula to find the product of the roots of the quadratic equation. Let us review our solution to the quadratic equation 3x squared positive 11x positive 6 is equal to 0. The roots that we have solved are negative 2 thirds and negative 3. The nature of the roots can be found using the discriminant b squared negative 4ac and the answer is 49. 49 is a perfect square. So the nature of the roots, we have real, rational, and unequal. The sum of the roots is negative b over a, and that is negative 11 thirds. While the product of the roots is c over a, and that is 6 over 3, which is equal to 2. Let's have another example. Solve the quadratic equation 4x squared positive 9x negative 3 is equal to 0 using the quadratic formula. Determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation and find the sum and product of the roots. The quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2a. a is equal to 4, b is equal to 9, and c is equal to negative 3. And we have x is equal to negative 9, positive negative square root of 9 squared, negative 4 times 4 times negative 3, divided by 2 times 4. We start simplifying inside the radical symbol. This is the discriminant of the quadratic equation and this will tell the kind of the roots that we have. So simplifying we have inside the radical symbol that is 129. Okay, so x is equal to negative 9 positive negative square root of 129 divided by 8. Since we have positive and negative, we split these two roots. The first one is x is equal to negative 9 plus square root of 129 divided by 8. And the other one, x is equal to negative 9, negative square root of 129 divided by 8. So these are the two roots. Notice that we have the square root, we do not have the square root of 129. We retain the square root of 129. So these two roots, as you can see, they are real numbers, but they are irrational and also they are not equal. So that's the nature of the roots. Using the shortest way, the nature of the roots can be found using the discriminant. The discriminant here is 129. 129 is not a perfect square. So just remember. If the number is not a perfect square, the nature of the root is real, irrational, and unequal. Let's go to the sum. Okay, let's find the sum of the roots. It is given by negative b over a. And that is from the equation negative 9 over 4. Well, the product is given by c over a, and that is negative 3 over 4. Let us review the solution for example 2. 
the quadratic equation 4x squared positive 9x negative 3 is equal to 0. The roots are negative 9 positive square root of 129 divided by 8. And negative 9 negative square root of 129 divided by 8. The nature of the roots is given by the discriminant b squared negative 4ac and the answer is 129. 129 is not a perfect square, so the nature of the roots is real, irrational, and unequal. The sum of the roots is given by negative b over a, and that is negative 9 over 4, and the product of the roots is given by c over a, and that is from the equation negative 3 over 4. Let's have example 3. Solve the quadratic equation 4x squared positive 12x positive 9 is equal to 0 using the quadratic formula. Determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation and find the sum and product of the roots. Okay, let's solve using the quadratic formula. Given we have a is equal to 4, b is equal to 12, and c is equal to 9. So the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b, positive negative square root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2a. Just substitute these numbers to the corresponding letters in the formula. So we have x is equal to negative 12 positive negative square root of 12 squared negative 4 times 4 times 9 divided by 2 times 4. And we have x is equal to negative 12, positive negative square root of 0 over 8. And since we have 0 as our discriminant, then the value for x is negative 12 over 8, which is equal to negative 3 over 2. So we have two equal roots. So our nature of the roots can be found using the discriminant. The discriminant here is 0. So if the discriminant is 0, we have equal roots. So the nature of the roots now will be real, rational, and equal. Let's get the sum of the roots that is given by negative b over a is equal to from the equation, negative 12 over 4, that is negative 3. While the product of the roots is given by c over a, and that is from the equation, 9 over 4. Let us review our solution to example 3 for the quadratic equation 4x squared positive 12x positive 9 is equal to 0. The roots are equal and they are negative 3 halves. The nature of the roots using the discriminant b squared negative 4ac, the discriminant is 0. If the discriminant is 0, the nature of the roots is real, rational, and equal. The sum of the roots, that is negative 12 over 4, which is equal to negative 3. The product of the roots is given by c over a, and that is from the equation 9 over 4. We have the last example. Solve 2x squared negative 5x positive 8 is equal to 0 using the quadratic formula. Determine the nature of the roots and the sum and product of the roots. The quadratic formula x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2a. a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to positive 8 from the quadratic equation that we have. So just substitute these numbers to the corresponding letters in the quadratic formula. And we have x is equal to negative of negative 5 positive negative square root of the square of negative 5 negative 4 times 2 times 8 
divided by 2 times 2. We first simplify inside the radical symbol. x is equal to 5 positive negative square root of negative 39 divided by 4. The roots are 5 plus the square root of negative 39 divided by 4. And the other one, x is equal to 5 negative square root of negative 39 divided by 4. So our solution here are not real numbers. The discriminant is negative 39. Again, to solve the discriminant, we use b squared negative 4ac. Since our discriminant is negative, the nature of the root is imaginary and unequal. That's the nature of the roots. For the sum of the roots, you have to use negative b over a. And that is negative of negative 5 over 2. That is 5 halves. The product of the roots is 8 over 2 equals 4. I am giving you a test to try. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a lot today.